right, fellas. I'm gonna do a quick uh, demonstration of my uh, my vintage Daisy Powerline 1200 here. You can see here I've got the, the gun, some Pelgun oil, Powerlet, some good old Marksman BBs. Those are from in the 90s, I think. So here's how it works. Maybe get a closer shot of the gun here for a second. Really love the way this fits in the hand. Nice target shape. It's got a thumb rest here for righties. Cross bolt safety. Um, the way it works is you cock it here. Once you get it loaded with BBs, you point it down. Push it down, release it, and ready to go. So, and then you, uh, next up, pop off the side cover here. CO2 cartridge goes here. Power lit. So let's take our power lit. Drop a pell gun oil. I don't know how this is gonna how well this is gonna work. I haven't shot the gun in probably 10 or 15 years. You can see it doesn't take much. You see some people they'll say put a couple of drops on there, but a couple of drops is an awful lot, dude. You don't really want to do that. All you want is just a little bit on here. Screw out the uh, lanyard ring here. Screwing this in is what pushes the cartridge up so that it can pierce the CO2. Sorry, this is kind of a dead spot in the video, right? And we drop this in base first. Tighten up our lanyard ring again. When you start to feel some resistance, you probably want to stop so that you can tighten it up all at once. Okay, so I start to feel some resistance there pick it up and give it a good quick twist you should hear something go like Shh, filling up the gun with co2 I don't know if you heard that but it happened pop on our side cover top in first snaps down we're halfway loaded ah, getting excited already just feel that beautiful feeling in my hand now, the way you load this, it's a BB gun. You've got a smooth bore barrel. You probably saw it before, but when you uh, push the cocking lever forward from underneath, the barrel actually comes out a little bit. You push that forward and point it at a slight downward angle. That's what uh, actually lets a BB go in. So, dry fire here once. So you can see now to load the BBs, it holds about 50 or 60 BBs. That's about how much CO2 you have. So just flip this down. And what I like to do is just curl my finger like so. And then tilt the gun. It's kind of hard to show at this video angle, but you tilt the gun down and then you just pour the BBs into the, the crook of your finger. Let's see if I can depict this properly. kind of nice that they made the gun so that it holds about the same amount of BBs and uh, CO2, right? Otherwise you never quite catch up. You can see it's starting to fill up. That's about it. Close the door here. Ah, uh, yeah. That's the sound every, sound every kid loves is a full BB gun. safety on here. Point it down just a little bit. Push the cocking lever forward. Maybe you heard those BBs shift around. Now I'm going to pick up the camera on the tripod here. We're going to go over to the target area and uh, do some shooting. 
I'm going to leave the tripod here pointed at the pointed at the target. You can see my progress. I'm going to go down the hall here and start blasting away. See how I did. Oh no! Shotgun pattern. Ah well. Anyway. Thanks for watching there, fellas. The power line 1200. I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna try and blame the gun for that poor group. Don't have a uh don't have a scope on it or anything and but that was aiming at the bullseye. Got the rear sight all the way down, so apparently it does have enough adjustment that it can be moved up there. But uh, anyway, nice gun. Feels great in the hand. 50 or 60 shots from a CO2. Has that nice cheerful sound. Thanks for watching.